الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أحبتي في الله from the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the ayat koniya the ayat for us to reflect upon to ponder, to benefit is what we see before us here from the many signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَيَنزِلُوا مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءٍ لِيُطَهِرُكُمْ بِهِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends from the sama He descends rain and water from the sama, from the sky in order to, uh, that we can purify ourselves with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions في كتاب الكريم وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ لَيْلَ وَالنَّهَارُ وَشَمْسُ وَالْقَمْرُ وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ لَيْلَ وَالنَّهَارُ وَشَمْسُ وَالْقَمْرُ لَا تَشْهَدُ لِشَمْسٍ وَلَا لِلْقَمْرِ وَشْهَدُوا لِلَّهِ الَّذِي خَلَقَهُنَّ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ إِيَّاهُ تَعْبُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions He says مِنْ آيَاتِهِ وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ From his signs The day and the night The sun and the moon لَا تَشْهَدُوا لِشَمْسٍ Do not prostrate to the shams, to the sun Or nor the moon وَشْهَدُوا لِلَّهِ الَّذِي خَلَقَهُنَّ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ if it's you, if it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you worship and that and it's him you fear, then worship him, not these signs. The signs are beautiful, the signs are magnificent. Uh, I can't even describe to you the smells I'm smelling now and the freshness in the air. After Fajr we left and here we are, or or this soon probably within an hour or hour and a half, two hours after Fajr, and we're here in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's magnificent creation. Ajibal, the mountains, the sama, the, the sky, Alashjar, these beautiful trees, Ashams, as we mentioned in the ayat, the sun, and those are all from the signs of Allah Azza wa Jal. And none of them should be worshipped. All of these are signs to let us know that Allah Azza wa Jalla exists and He's the only one worthy of worship. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created them.